Hi, I'm Rick Brazel, president and founder of the First Hunt Foundation. We established the foundation to save our hunting heritage. We established it in April of 2015. Now we're operating in 38 states. We have 800 volunteers that are helping people learn about hunting and outdoor skills. We'd love to have you come join us. Um, we're trying to do just the opposite. Of, yeah, it sounds lovely, but I think I'm gonna stay down here and make him come find me. So, so that's all that. Okay. Yeah. So you take your shoe with your hunter shop in, so he goes and gets them on. Back at the table. Yeah, that's safety right down there. So you use your trigger, your trigger finger for the rubber. Um, he's got a rubber. Yeah. You can tell. Sounds good for the fall. If you don't harvest in the spring, you can use that same tag in the fall, just so you know. Um, there you go. So set that up. We're gonna we're gonna sneak over here real quick because his bird's a little more open. Hold up. Exactly. Nice little gas pocket right there. But again, you can't see that. I'll turn it out for you. You can see it right there. You're going to want to be careful cutting around that and a good sharp knife, these outdoor edge knives, they're actually not that expensive and they're fantastic. But you can follow that down all the way down to the edge down here. And this actually, these wild turkey breasts, I mean, they're like a, they're a foot long. They're really nice. And the feathers, the less, it's not really contamination, but you won't get feathers, as many feathers on your meat. So I like to really work it around before I do any cutting. To walk in. Like, why is the on there? Like, what you guys are right out front. Talking up on some cute goblin toms now. They're close, huh? They're really close. Just happened. I never walked up on them. They were still nesting. Yeah, I was hoping that they were, uh, we thought they were roosted a little bit further up on the property. We we're trying to get down and get in front of them and get out to this uh, open area where we're set up now. Uh, but we found them on, on roost. So they, they flew up off in that direction, so we're hoping that uh, they'll work back down this way once they've calmed down a bit. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of a waiting game now. <laughs> yeah. That's right.
a dead shot. <laughs> It was. It was a good night through. All right. Well, we got wow. the rest of those birds working back up there. Yeah. I still don't know we're here, so we'll sit it out and try to get a second one. Yeah. Uh, we'll Absolutely. We'll go try to recover that first bird once, uh, once they're out of sight. Sure. Okay. I mean, okay. We, bust we busted them when we got here, and they came right back, so yeah. hopefully we'll get another shot. Find. Oh, yeah, we tra we tracked him until the blood ran out and looked around, and we couldn't find that bird. Yeah, cannot find him at all. Oh, gave it a good. We've been looking for about an hour and a half, and about a half hour after blood ran out. And, oh, that sucks. I hate losing animals, but oh, what can you do? Yeah, true. like 46 birds and about 17 tons. Hit the hit the blind. I think so. <laughs> it, it was off. That's not right.
All right, well, we are done with our uh, First Hunt Foundation turkey hunt for this year. Uh, tell me about your experience. Uh, it was wonderful, man. I mean, I, I, I couldn't ask for nothing better. Huh? And um, how did you feel about the facility, the way people treat you, the, 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 ment the level of mentoring you were getting? Uh, it, it was great. I mean, uh, you know, you, you learn a lot, you know, from, the, from your, your mentors. Uh, if you open yourself up to learning, you know, um, everybody here was great. The facilities was, it's just beautiful, you know, uh, great vac vacation place. You know? mm -hmm. Nice. Um, did you feel that the First Hunt Foundation was able to kind of help you prepare for hunting turkeys on your own through this camp workshop? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, there you go. So, First turkey, how's it feel? I like it. Come on, man. I got a turkey. <laughs> I took it from the field, and now it's going to go to the table. Uh, the awesome. Way. It's what I'm looking for. It's what it's about. Amen. Then, but to actually go out and get what I need for my family, this is going for my family. You know what I mean? And I did it. So that's, I'm proud of that. And uh, congratulations. Thank well you. done. I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate that. Hello, hello. Letting you guys know I had a great time out there this weekend. Uh, got my first turkey in the bag. First night. Uh, so I appreciate that. I've been wanting to hunt since I was 10. Uh, when I was a young kid, I really got solidified when I was talking to my great-grandmother about the depression. It was a report I was supposed to do, and I asked her, hey, how did you make it through uh, when things were so difficult? And she said, man, it wasn't that difficult for us. We already knew how to take care of ourselves. She said, we already could fish, we could hunt, we ate rabbits. You know, they took that old 3220. Uh, and the old Winchester 73, and they made it happen. Um, and I, there was such a freedom in her voice when she talked about it. We ruined my report because not what it was supposed to be about. It was supposed to be how <laughs> difficult it was. But there was a freedom that they had that I wanted. And so I always kind of was like, if I could hunt, and I could shoot pretty well. They taught me to shoot. But about the time that I was old enough to go hunting, they were too old to take me. And they said they couldn't pack out any animals or anything like that. So. Uh, here I am now, a long ways from, you know, preteen. I'm 36 years old, but I'm out there. I got my first bird and my first turkey. So I appreciate uh, you guys taking me out. Um, otherwise, I would not have been successful. And the amount of information I was able to get in one weekend would have taken me years to acquire. So I appreciate you guys sharing the knowledge and then showing the practical application. Hello, I'm Ray Livingston, National Forgotten Rights Director for the First Hunt Foundation. First and foremost, I'd like to thank everybody that came to our Northeast Washington Spring Turkey Camp and participated as a mentee, mentor, volunteer, or help plan the event. Thanks to all of you, it was a great success. It's as important now as ever that we do everything we can to protect our hunting heritage as it's under attack constantly and daily all across the country. The First Hunt Foundation's primary mission is to protect that heritage and to pass it on to as many people that want to embark upon their own hunting journey. We welcome you to join us for a mentored hunt, to join us as a mentee, or we welcome your donations to help support our efforts. The First Hunt Foundation is a registered 501c3 nonprofit, so any donations you make are tax deductible, and they will allow us to continue to provide mentoring services free of charge to anybody that's interested in embarking upon their own hunting journey. Thank you for watching the video and thank you for supporting First Hunt Foundation.